It's a bit of a misty morning today. Hi everyone and welcome to part 14 of the Coldborough Farm map series. Um, due to the weather I think we're going to have to go and pick up a bit of new equipment I've just bought to begin with and then we'll get on with some other jobs. Uh, now it's a muck spreader, it's the new Marshall and it's the biggest one you can get in the game in the Marshall mod pack uh, and I thought because I lost the first one I thought I might as well just go for the big one this time instead of buying just a small one it wasn't too much more expensive so it's probably the best option and it means that I can leave it in the field next to the cows and just keep filling it up every day mucking out the cows until it's full and then I can get more on each load and then go and spread it on a field when I need it so that's the first job today I'm going to go and pick up that um, I'm also going to be ploughing later on um, I've got the... I can't remember what make it is, it's the green plough let me just have a look uh, let's have a look here ah oh, yes the Amazon um, the green, is it, what is it, is it six furrow? yep six furrow plough uh, that's the one we're going to be using today um, and we're also going to be buying some chickens I had a request for that and it's quite a good idea because we haven't got any so we'll be doing that so we've got three things to do today, three main jobs today um, it's just really a case of first of all getting this muck spreader back to the yard to begin with there it is, a new muck spreader it's obviously bigger than the other one actually looks better as well I prefer this one so we'll get this hitched up and I haven't been in here yet actually we'll go in the dealership see their equipment Ah, vending machine. Could do with a drink. Ah, the workshop facility. Surprise there's no tractors in here. It'd be good if there were some in here. People working. That'd look amazing. Got a winch up there. Lots of tool chests. Massive air compressor. Huge. Oh, look at that, the impact wrench. <laughs> some shelving lots of uh, workbenches and advice there yeah, very kitted out, it's very nice just lacking the, the workers with the tractors I keep getting stuck on this door so we've got a uh, Lexian in here that's nice in the showroom area and a corn header there bit of information about them and there's the, the other header for the wheat and cereals. Yeah, and very nice. Oh, an upstairs as well. What goes on in here then? Oh, it's just a, a viewing gallery. Watch everyone in the workshop. Lovely. Well, I think we better get cracking then with our new manure spreader. It is nice though, I do like it. Looking good. Right, off to the other farm we go. And I might actually also have another trick up my sleeve for the for the uh, latter part of the, the video. Um, we may be buying a new machine. So I'm just going to go through that field again, get it into position, avoiding all the cows as usual. Now I think this is probably going to be best just up against this wall here, about there, just a bit further back. That should be good. So I'm going to leave that there and then get my front loader tractor and muck out the cows for today. Let all the cows move out the way as usual. Looks like there's quite a bit of poop in there today. So it hasn't been done for a number of days actually. I'll just put the interface back on.
and we'll get this thing loaded up. Now I'm using the manure fort this time. I used the bucket before. Don't know how much we'll get out of this actually. Probably probably quite a bit. There's definitely more than there was before. Probably, I don't know, four four and a bit loads. I don't know. Go for number three. Well, that's four, and there still looks to be quite a bit in there. Much more than I thought. That's no bad thing, though. I've got more to spread on the land. I actually don't know the capacity of that muck spread. I'll have to have a look. It's um, it's not too full. Probably one third full. Still more. It's actually looking pretty full now, with that one going in. Who knows, I might fill it today. I think when this one's in, I'll be able to get about half a load from in there. I think it's virtually gone. But that spread it is a lot fuller than I was expecting it to be from just today. Clearly my cows have been busy. Yep, there we go, 91%. So, almost another load there. Oh, mind the count. <laughs> um, that was about seven loads. I, I was not expecting that. But that's pretty good. It, it does all fit. I'll just attach it and see what I can get from it. Just see what percent it's on. I'm guessing it's about 80-something percent. Yeah, 84%. So, that's not bad. I'll leave it there for today. Um, it can actually stay on the tractor. Um, and then next time, a couple of days time, I'll do it again. And we'll be able to use our produce from it in there. Right, well, I think we should probably buy some chickens then. They are located through here, or at least their, their chicken houses, their pen. Um, so I'm guessing when we buy them, they'll appear here. Oh, and look how silage is done. That wasn't done earlier, so that's that's new today. Right, we'll buy some. They're very cheap, so I'll get a load. Uh, where are they? Animals. Here we go then, 70 pounds each. We'll get loads. 15, 20, we'll get 30 to begin with. 30, 31, okay. Right, I've bought them. I've bought them. Oh, they're all roaming around. Oh, more things to hit. This is going to be chaos driving tractors through here. It's bad enough with that cockerel. Oh, well. At least they're free range. Got a bit of wool here as well. Right, well. We're going to move on to the main job of today. Which is ploughing. I'm going to be using the case. So I better take it back up to the other yard. Get the plough on. Mind the chickens, or the hens. Off we go. Sunshine's coming out now. The fog seems to be lifting. The clouds are also breaking up a bit. It looks like it's going to be a good day. So I've got the front weight on already. Don't need to put another one on. Um, the plough is just up here, where it should be. That's where I put the New Holland yesterday probably should have put the front loader down thinking about it. Um, but yeah, the plough is just here. We'll get that on the back and we're going to plough 
that small field I harvested the other day, just through here. Let's get this thing lifted up and make sure it doesn't hit the shed. Okay, it's going to be tight getting out of here. Okay, it's just through here then. If you watched part 12, I think it was, the harvest of this field, um, you'll know that it's been done and it needs to be ploughed. So that's what we're doing today. We'll start at the top. Better get this thing unfolded. Make sure it's facing the right way as well. Right. So we're going to have to turn that over B. I'd like to do it from cab view. It would be a lot more realistic. Let's make a good start. I'm having to... Oh, that is not good. I might have to go the other way. You can see the amount I'm having to turn back on that. We will have to do it down this way then. Yeah, that's better. Much better. Not quite up to the edge, but it's not pulling. Yeah, massive improvement there. It's a shame. It's a shame it's pulling quite so much You're going the other way because this is obviously going to take longer going this way around. Um, it's not the end of the world. At least I can keep it straight going this way. Yeah, looking good. I'm pleased about that. It must be just the slope on the field which is making it pull down that way. Uh, maybe the plows are a little big. You wouldn't think it would be too big for this tractor though. Hmm, must just be the field. Just the way it rolls. So from what I'm told, um, unlike some maps, the texture will actually follow where you go. So like when you're drilling, if you were to turn a bend, you put a nice round edge on your actual texture, it wouldn't sort of, um, I don't know what way of describing it is, it wouldn't like checkerboard it. It wouldn't suddenly be going in a different direction, it would actually follow you around. You might be able to tell just from, no you can't really tell. I'll have to show you when I'm drilling with the bigger drill but it does look a lot better. The texture follows the drill. I think the plough would as well, but obviously don't plough around a bend. Right, well I'm going to crack on with this now and I'll get back to you in a minute or two when I'm a bit further that way. And hopefully things will all work out okay in the end. Just a bad start, but the rest of it should all be good. Well, we're nearing the end now of this field. I think it'd be nice if I could somehow get a vintage machinery mod pack like there was for FS13. don't think there's one released yet, but when there is, or if there is, I'd love to do ploughing with that. It would take a long time, but it'd be amazing. And I could do like a, a ploughing championship kind of thing. Obviously I'd lose, looking at this field, but it'd still be fun. That would be good. Now I'm going to have to do the headlands, which is a bit, 
bit wondering if it's going to actually do it or not because obviously it was pulling to one side when I was trying to do the top there but they need doing because otherwise it's not going to be not going to be done so I'm going to have to attempt it hopefully the headlands can be done otherwise I'll just have to do it with the cultivator but I reckon just one or two more breeds up here and we should be done you can see how much it's working hard look at that 35 litres it's running at it's in the red that's when it's pulling up the hill and on the way down again it's barely using any fuel I think it's about 9 or 10 let's have a look Nine, seven, ten-ish, probably about ten average. Finds it a lot easier going downhill, obviously. Anyway, let's do the headland or attempt it at least. I have to turn it over. We'll get it lined up. Okay. I wonder if it'll pull to the side. is pulling. Slow down a bit maybe. It could be worse. It's the top I'm worried about. Well it is doing it. Not very well. It doesn't look very good but it is doing it. Oh, what's this? Great demand for canola. Well we've just sold a load. That's weird. Actually working really well over the top. That's really weird. It didn't work at all before. Maybe it's just certain directions it doesn't work properly. No idea. Anyway, that is a job done. <laughs> I'm not going to say well done, um, but it's done. And I'll be able to do something with that soon. So, let's get this folded up. Get the plough folded up. And then we can put it away. And then I'd like to, if I can, sell our loader. Right, I've just got to put the trailer on quickly, and we've got some. I think we've got some potatoes to sell, so I'm just going to have to do that. Uh, let's have a look here. Yes, I have. So I'm just going to sell those. That should then give give us the money to buy the telehandler. So this won't take long. The potatoes are with the sugar beet just down here. If you didn't know. And it's really easy and quick to load it up because it's in the conveyor. We haven't got too many, but it's all it's all gonna help. And actually I haven't been down here for a while, so I can check on my agroforestry while we're here. Will that like, fill up? Okay. Whoop. It's growing well. Looking good. Trees haven't gone up another stage yet. Wouldn't expect them to though, not yet. Um, but it's looking good. It's how I wanted it to be. We may be doing agroforestry in the field. I just did, but possibly not. I'll see how this one goes. But this one's looking good. Quite happy with it. Anyway, just got to go and sell those potatoes, and then I'll be able to buy the telehandler after I've sold the other loader as well. Um, I won't be needing the drill yet, the seed drill. I was going to get a new one, but I'm going to wait because it won't take me too long to get the money for that anyway. So, yep, this is what we're doing. I also want to get a sugar beet harvester and a potato harvester. There is loads I would like to do. Uh, it's just finding the money. So I know you can do a money cheap, but I really don't want to do that. I know the money is in the farm because I can just sell grain, keep doing harvests. Uh, so. It will all be done in the end, it's just when I get round to it, at least when I can afford it. Okay, let's go and sell this, and then I can afford the 
telehandler. So this goes, if you didn't know, to the usual selling place, the Wednesday uh, stores. They seem to buy everything. And I don't know what the price is for these. I didn't look, but we'll soon find out. Anything is good. Anything is a big help. Let's have a look. We're on fifteen thousand four hundred and fifty pounds. It's going up fairly slowly. Eighteen thousand, pretty much nineteen thousand. Oh well, it all helps. Let's sell the tractor. It's the stayer. Sell and front loader. Sell. Well, we're not there yet. I need another eleven thousand, so I'll just go and sell a trailer load of grain. I won't record it and I'll get back to you in one second's time. Right, there we go, 89,000, uh, almost 90,000 to the shop and let's buy it. Telehandlers, there we go, and I'll need a muck grab for it. So, where's that? A manure fork. Okay, so. I'll just park this here, I'll take this back later. Here it is. And this is to replace our loader. So this will be used to muck out cows and everything. I'll have to come back another time to pick up the pallet forks and everything. But there is an upgrade for the farm. Next it will definitely have to be a new seed drill. But not bad. Didn't think I'd be getting one of them at the beginning of the week. I always used to think it was fairly slow, but it seems to be pretty nippy. Get some speed up with this thing. We can do speed mucking out. Here we are, first hour on the clock. Oh, that's something I need to get. I need to get a mod with an hour meter. That'd be amazing. See how many hours each tractor's done. The first time to Chantry Farm, with a long life ahead of it. I think we'll just put it here for now, we don't really need it today anymore, I've already used the loader, but I'll just park it in its position, and that'll be it for today. Okay, there we go, looking good, it's a new addition for the farm. Anyway, we've done a fair bit today, I'm quite happy with that. Um, join me again tomorrow, new part, uh, we'll be doing something else, not sure what yet, but that's all to come, thanks for watching, and I'll see you tomorrow in part 15.